So today, we're going to very briefly talk about markets, have a bit of a longer discussion about the Brexit impact, in particular the dislocation in some of the UK markets we saw. And finally, we're going to talk about what we're doing on some of our mandates, in particular our defensive mandates, for new clients today. So firstly, markets. So we're seeing quite buoyant equity markets at the moment, both here in the UK but globally. Key lesson is focus on the United States. Of course, it's important what happens here in the UK, but it's all about the US and the fact that the Federal Reserve Board is taking a cautious approach to raising rates, is being, is being celebrated by equity markets and fixed income markets globally. Moving on from markets and focusing on Brexit, in particular, some of the dislocations we saw, particularly here in the UK, we saw three principally. Firstly, with respect to commercial property funds, down sharply and gated, i.e. not open. They were down some 14%. That's largely unwound. The FTSE 250, the domestic orientated next 250 stocks, they were also down sharply. That's unwound. In fact, they're now up post-Brexit. In contrast, sterling, also down, interestingly, 14%, clearly the magic number here today. Uh, that has not recovered at all. That currency remains weak against the dollar, against the euro and yen. We seek to take advantage of that and raise the sterling weight gradually in portfolios. Thirdly, and finally, looking at portfolios, so markets are at highs in terms of equities, and also bond prices are very high. So from the investment team, we're still cautiously optimistic. We're still pro-risk in the portfolios. But where we take a different stance, or, or maybe more nuanced stance, is our defensive portfolios, which have typically more fixed income securities.